Hello Oracle Database Geeks, this is Justin and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial I am going to show you um, a, a circumstance when the Oracle Database would automatically roll back a transaction or automatically commit a transaction. Now um, this video is not meant to be a full treatment of Oracle transaction concepts but this is, um, I'm just detailing two instances and of, uh, that you may run into in uh, in your days as an Oracle DBA and what happens to transactions that aren't committed. Okay, now a transaction is basically at a high level is any modification to data. So if you were to update um, update a row a row in a table, okay, that would be a transaction. Or if we were to insert data into a table, the insert rows into tables, that would be considered a transaction. Okay, and a transaction is not complete until you issue what's called a commit or a rollback. Okay, a commit, what it does is it takes the changes which are in the redo log buffer, which is in the SGA, the memory of the database server, and flushes them to the online redo log files, which makes them permanent. And the what a rollback does is it goes to the undo table space segments and it redoes the uh, change that you did. Okay, so commit says, I'm cool with it. Go ahead and make it permanent. And the um, and the um, rollback basically says, um, I need to go back to where it was before I made the change. Okay, and I'm only talking, and I'm only going to talk about now. There's a lot of instances and ways. Um, there are a lot of scenarios that you run into with an Oracle database that would result in either a commit or a rollback. But I'm only going to talk about two here. So let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure our Oracle SID variable is set properly which it is finance and let's connect to our finance database via the SQL plus program we do a show user we see we're connected as sysdba we do select name from G dollar database and we will see we're connected to the finance database okay now I have a table in this database called name and if I do describe names to describe the structure of the table, I will see that there is one column named F name with a uh, data type of var character 2, 20 characters. And if I do select asterisk from names, I will see that there are no, no rows inserted into this table. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert two rows, two names. The first name, be my girlfriend's name, insert into names values, make up like so. Now I do select asterisk from names. Now I'm going to insert my friend's name. Insert into names values mark. Select asterisk from names. Okay, so I inserted two rows into the F name table, Minka and Mark. All right, and I did select asterisk from names, table names, and it showed me everything in that table. All right, so now the first scenario, now the transaction is still considered to be active by Oracle because we didn't end it with a commit or rollback. Rollback. Okay, we didn't commit a rollback, so this transaction is still considered to be active by Oracle. So here are the two instances. What it, what happens when you quit at the SQL Plus program? Well, let's see. You type in quit, and you're out of SQL. Now let's log back into SQL Plus, and let's do a select asterisk from names, and we'll see that those values are still there. Now type in rollback. Okay, to roll back the data select asterisk from names. We will see that those two rows are still there despite the rollback. And it doesn't matter how many times you type in rollback, okay? Now, why is the data still there despite the rollback? But, we, but you don't remember typing in a commit up here, right? So you didn't type in a commit up here to end the transaction and tell it to be, make it permanent. Yet when, you, yet when you log back in SQL Plus and type in a rollback, you still can't get that data. I mean, I mean, I mean it doesn't roll back, all right? So what, why? Well, because when you type in quit and you exit the SQL Plus program, there is an implicit commit which occurs. Okay, implicit meaning that it happens by default, okay, by what you're doing. Okay, so when you type, so the coders of SQL Plus made it so when someone exits the program gracefully with a quit, it automatically issues a commit under the covers. Okay, now let's take another scenario. Type in, let's insert two more rows. Insert in two names values, we'll put my name, oops, there we go, and then we'll do another insert, insert into names, values, and my 
my father's name. He would select asterisk from names. Okay, so I inserted two more rows into this table, bringing my, my grand total to four rows in the F name table. Minka, Mark, Justin, Rich. And I just inserted Justin and Rich. Now, I didn't end the transaction by typing in commit a rollback. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm now, instead of typing in quit, which we know is does an implicit commit when we type in quit and we exit out SQL plus gracefully, which we just proved, I'm just going to close the window up here as if the server crashed or as if my window crashed or my connection to Oracle crashed. Okay, so I click the X up in the right hand upper right hand corner and it exited the command window. Now I just opened up a new command window. So I set my Oracle SID to finance. I SQL plus in. Now I type in select asterisk from names. And you'll see that Minka and Mark are the only two values in this table and the Justin and Rich rows are not there. So what did we learn here? We learned that in SQL plus when you type in quit, when you get out of it gracefully, okay, an implicit commit occurs and it flushes everything out and it's a graceful shutdown of your session, okay. Um, but if you were to lose your connection or kill your window like I did by clicking this X in the upper right hand corner here, okay, it, um, it's like Oracle assumes it was a crash and that you don't care about those transactions and it will roll it back just to be safe, okay. Okay, thank you.